Hey everyone, Mike Scan here, senior pastor of Epic Life Church right here in Terrell, Texas. Want to welcome you to a brand new three minute Thursday where we take three minutes or less and look at subjects and topics of the Bible. Today we're going to take a look at the fourth commandment. But before we get started, don't forget to like this, uh, like our page. Don't forget to maybe like this video, share it, and don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon so that you're notified every time a new uh, three minute Thursday comes out. So what is the fourth commandment? Many of you all probably know this one by heart. But I want to read it to you, found in Exodus chapter 20, beginning in verse 8. Let's read it together. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. You are to work six days and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath to Adonai, your God. In it you shall not do any work, not you, nor your son, your daughter, your male servant, your female servant, your cattle, nor the outsider that's within your gate. For in six days Adonai made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Thus Adonai blessed the Sabbath and made it holy. Now, I learned what a lot of people say is they read that commandment and they go, well, Pastor Mike, I understand that. It's one of the commandments. But Jesus never quoted that or repeated that in the New Testament. So why do we have to follow it today? That is a great statement and things that I've heard a lot about. Matter of fact, it's one of the greatest defense for people to say we don't have to follow the commandments anymore, the Torah. The problem with it is this, is that just because there's a commandment in the Old Testament that's not repeated in the New Testament doesn't make it void, doesn't make it obsolete for today. As a matter of fact, there are a lot of scriptures and a lot of things that are written in the New Old Testament that are not repeated in the New, but doesn't give it the right for us not to follow it. You have to remember something. Jesus was talking to a Jewish crowd, and he would have known that they knew that they were to obey these commandments. Matter of fact, even though the Sabbath isn't commanded in scripture, what we do find is Jesus supporting all of the commandments in Matthew chapter five, beginning in verse, get it open to you beginning verse 17. Let's read this together. Do not think that I came to abolish the Torah or the prophets. I did not come to abolish but to fulfill. Amen I tell you until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or theorem shall ever pass away from the Torah until all things come to pass. Therefore whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others the same shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever keeps and teaches Teaches them, this one shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you that unless your righteousness exceeds that of the Pharisees and Torah scholars, you shall never enter the kingdom of heaven. The word here in Matthew 5 that people kind of get hung up on is the word fulfill. Notice that Yeshua said will not be abolished or, or until all things are, but he came to fulfill. What does that word mean? It means to bring to full expression. The word fulfilled means to bring to full expression. In in other words, Messiah came to demonstrate to you and me how to live out the commandments of God without all of the Pharisees' rules and laws and regulations that they had put upon the people. Therefore, all of the commandments that we know that apply to us today, or apply then, apply to us today, even the Sabbath. Remember, Jesus said he was the Lord of the Sabbath. Not that he was the Sabbath, but that he was the Lord of the Sabbath. In other words, he was the one that created Sabbath. He was the one that orchestrated the Sabbath. He's God in the flesh. Sabbath day is a holy day that God made for us to rest, and it's still applicable for today. I hope this challenges you to get back into God's Word, read it for yourself, and discover the life that you were created to live. Until the next time, shalom.